Okay, so the other one was if you're in a relationship and it's a bad relationship and you let it go and you and you've sort of um, you sort of cut the relationship but then you feel guilt but you've had red flags um, that this is not um, this is not a good thing this is not a good relationship so the thing with that to know with that is that when um, one of the things is karmically speaking um, if you um, are giving up a relationship, something's going on, okay. If you're giving up a, uh, a relationship and it's red flags, it's going to be, what you're doing is going in the interest, it's in the interest of the highest good for both people. If it's not a good relationship, that you don't go back. Because it's not going to be good for them if you go back and it's not going to be good for you. And also, um, the guilt is... Um, uh, that, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way, you know, you're going to help them if you heal yourself and not focus on rescuing the other person and feeling guilty that you're responsible for rescuing the other person. If we take the story of um, uh, what is the power of healing yourself and not focusing on anyone else and trying to rescue another person. I think the great, one of the greatest metaphors recently, I always repeat this, is... Um, I mean, of course, there's the biblical ones, there's Jesus and everything, but if we, the recent story of uh, Dr. Hugh Len. Now, Dr. Hugh Len, you know, like, the thing with human beings is they, they feel guilty and they want to rescue another person by going in physically rescuing the other person. But Dr. Hugh Len, uh, there was a prison of, um, there was a prison in Hawaii of violent criminals, and he didn't even go in and speak to them. He just had the files of what one of the crimes they had committed. I you know they killed someone, they, you know, I don't know, they raped someone. And all he did was he saw he saw that and he let go of the data that he brought up within it. He forgave them for everything and he, he released the data in his own consciousness that it was bringing up in himself. I he he went through and remember there's a universal connection. So if you heal yourself, you're healing the other person without having to go out and rescue them and sort of give them money or drive them around or tell them that you love them. So as you sort of heal yourself and go off, you're healing them. So that then bypasses the idea of guilt, that you're a personal saviour, you're a personal martyr that has to go and take responsibility. Rather, here's another way of reframing it, is that actually let them go and heal yourself and that will have an impact on them, you becoming whole. Rather than going into this more limited idea that I'm as an individual responsible for going and saving them as an individual and bailing them out of pain. So understand, you could also see it from a mystical level that they were brought into your life for a reason, for transcendence, but not for you to be a personal saviour. Because you've seen, if you've seen red flags and you know it's not meant to be, uh, because otherwise you're just going to re-indoctrinate the bondage for the two of you trying to make a wholeness when it can't be. So that then would release the idea of you feeling guilt for them. I remember um, one of the greatest things I heard with uh, Dr. Hawkins and guilt was, I think it was a mother. There was a mother that was feeling, uh, she had a child who was an alcoholic. And she felt a lot of guilt, you know, that she couldn't rescue the, uh, the kid. Um, this might not be exactly right. But anyway, he said, you know, you can't take on, like, uh, responsibility for another human being. You know, like, if you meet someone, it's like this, if you meet someone and then they commit, <coughs> and then after a week of having a relationship with them, they commit suicide, and then you take full responsibility that you, you were responsible for them committing suicide. It's like, it's not, I mean, it's their whole life was probably going in that direction. You know, the, the part you played was probably like, you know, half of 1%. And then you sort of, and then the, you know, sort of taking on, well, I did that. You know, I'm 100% responsibility for the actions they took. You know, their whole life is, is factoring into the direction they're in. You can't sort of like, um, can't take responsibility for, for the direction they're in. Um, so they have a lot of karmic momentum. So you can let them go. I mean, I mean, you know, what we do know is that 
people who are codependent and like to rescue people, as, so, as, soon as, as soon as you pick up the phone, as you probably know, you'll just be re-enacting re the addictive energy in you and the addictive energy in them. So it's just best to give them space and not contact or not pick up the phone. And that would be the best for, for both parties. And you'll be helping them as well by not trying to, to rescue them and just not having any contact is the best thing to do. As soon as you do that, it's going to be bad for both of you. Um, and, um, okay.